are you ready for this? You're gonna love this video. I only spent $22 in these breakfast, lunch, and dinners for the week. Remember that for last week I had $2 in my favor and I used them well. Let me show you. This video, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. I'm gonna show you all my six uh, breakfasts that I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna share with you my six lunches and my six dinners all at once. Um, I didn't do it every day just so I want to see which one you like more do you like this type of videos like this format or do you want to see me every day doing it I can do it both but I thought I will give them options so let me know in the comments if you like this format or the last one if you haven't checked my video number one I'm gonna leave it either here or in the description below I'm gonna check if that price that I got, because I got two of these bags, right? It was basically a dollar. In total, I have 14 ounces. So, mm, look at this. This has 16 ounces for basically the same price. 16 ounces. So, you know what? I'm gonna change it. I'm taking, it really doesn't matter. I'm taking this one. And I'm going to leave this too. I'm not taking this. Okay. I don't know if I want to take this. Ooh, chili ready. Chili starter. I went with this one just because I want a lot of flavor, right? And it's already with basil, garlic, oregano. So I got this one. Perfect. 98 cents. I may come back for this one. We'll see. This is what we got, and now let's see the final verdict. Let's see. Drums, please. Let me show you how much I spent in this uh, for these week meals: breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is what I got: a tuna, a mayo, all-purpose flour, two chorizos, um, yeast. Yep, a pasta. So ground beef was more, way more expensive. This was $2.97. Um, and the ground beef was like four bucks. I was like, I don't know. One seventy-seven, eighty-three cents, a dollar, sixty-four cents, one forty-eight. Uh this is like sixty-four cents, two twenty-four. Uh, this one was 134 this one was 93 cents the 212 and so the total <clears throat> hold on um, the total was 22 I mean 2245 and remember that from last week I had money on my favor because it was 70. I spent seventeen eighty last week, so whatever was left. So because of that, I was able to get this. Uh, I'm gonna make a pasta soup, and so I thought that's why I wanted some uh, ground beef. But then I thought 
My pasta, my soup, is gonna have Italian tomatoes, sausage, right? It goes, right, right? Let me show you what we're gonna eat. Okay, so let me show you what we have left from last week, okay? We have this little bit of lentils. We're gonna use them. We, I have these beans, remember, left. And I have two uh, hot dogs, right? And of course, I'm gonna use them for this week. Let me show you how we're gonna use them. And every week is gonna get better and better because they were adding stuff in our pantry that we can use for other weeks, so. So, I'm going to put my apron and let's start cooking. Okay, first things first, <clears throat> excuse me. The first thing that we're gonna do, we are gonna make bread. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make our hamburger bread, our sandwich bread, and um, our hacked up bread just with one recipe. It's very simple, I promise. This is the easiest recipe for making bread and all that stuff because you know what, it's way cheaper when you do it, right? <clears throat> so, let me show you. Okay, and for that recipe that I'm gonna make, and just because I think it's the easiest recipe and really, really good, I'm gonna use my friends Tara, Tara and Jill's uh, book, Dining, no, sorry, Dining on a Dime Cookbook. If you don't know that, oh, I think this is one of the best books ever. Honestly, 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 let me show you just a little bit of it. Okay, this is one of my favorite cookbooks, and I'm not exaggerating. I think they have amazing recipes, very frugal, as you can see. These are all my, my go-to recipes. Um, this is the bread one, the one that I'm gonna show you. As you can tell, five stars. So I just have notes, how many hamburger breads do I can get from a recipe, uh, if I double the recipe, you know, things like that. Uh, but let me show you a little bit about it, just in case you're looking for a good cookbook. This coleslaw is the best coleslaw you're ever gonna try. It's the best, it's insane. Uh, let me show you. Oh, croutons. Ooh, the best ones. Uh, they have a really good honey bacon, honey chicken that we love. We have, oh, croutons, I already showed it to you. These are my go-to pie crust. Amazing. They have this uh, kettle corn um, that we love, love, love. What is this? Oh, my gosh. These are the best granola bars you ever tried I'm not joking you make it in the oven as you can tell five stars delicious well in Spanish right uh, the best one and I'm not exaggerating guys I'm not exaggerating and let me tell you that they have oatmeal cookies five stars really good like they are insane those are one of our best one pie crust I already told you oh my gosh cupcake feeling whoo they are extremely yummy. We love it. We really do love it. As you can tell, I love this book. I use it a lot for a lot of the recipes. Um, and today, I want to... What is this? Let me show you this one as well. Oh, yes. <gasps> the Mom's Sweet Muffins. We love them. We love this one as well. Five stars, right? Oatmeal muffins. They're really good as well. Anyway, so I think... I do believe that I, I will try to have the link if you want this book. Honestly, the best investment you're going to make for your house. If you want to use it, this. So we're going to use our basic bread dough. But I'm going to share the recipe with you. Um, I'm going to leave it on the description below so you can have it, the ingredients and then just follow me. Uh, I'm going to wash my hands. So and I'm, gonna make, I'm not going to use my mixer just because this is a small batch. It's a small, uh, I'm gonna do half of the recipe just because we only have this much and it's for the week. So let's start. Okay, I have warm water here. Okay, I'm leaving the recipe there. The recipe that I'm sharing with you is to make the full recipe, okay? Right now I'm doing half of the recipe that you're looking right now on the video. Um, is asking me for the entire package. Remember that we bought the yeast. Uh, I'm, of course, only gonna use half of the package, right? Uh, and I'm gonna do a teaspoon and a half. I'm gonna only use a teaspoon and a half. I think it's like two teaspoons something. So, 
a teaspoon and a half. And I'm just going to let it there. Um, I like to put a pinch of sugar just to help it out. And guys, guess what? I forgot that this recipe needed sugar, so we need a fourth of a cup of sugar, so I'm sorry. But I'm gonna let it rest this for a little bit. And if you're not gonna, you either you can put this on your countertop or, oh, this is good for a year, so we're good. Okay. Then here in my bowl, clean hands, I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients so I can mix them up. So I have my oil. I have my salt. I have my sugar. I have my water. Now with the juice, it's another water. And I'm gonna start adding my flour. Um, I need three cups of flour. Okay. Every time you're gonna use your flour, if you have it here, <coughs> either with a spoon or something, this is too small bag that I can't use that one, so. <clears throat> you just kinda can get like airy, right? Your, so it's not so compact and you use more than what you need. So that's what I like to do. Now I'm gonna get three cups. Ah! <laughs> oh, a flower. So I have one. I'm gonna use two right now. And I'm gonna have one ready to add. I'm gonna start mixing it. So all my ingredients get mix here especially the salt and if you never made bread please give it a try you, honestly 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 you're gonna love it making bread it's not only cheap but um it's way healthier right because we eliminate all those uh ingredients that they have to preserve for a longer period of time so okay my my juice is almost done i just wanted to make sure that all my ingredients here especially the salt because you don't want the salt to touch the yeast or you will kill it if uh if my yeast haven't grown so okay i think this is good okay <clears throat> my yeast is ready so i'm going to add it i'm gonna add a little bit more flour and let's start making our bread My dough is ready. Okay, now I have already oil, my my pan for my bread, and my cookie sheet for the other one. So I'm just going to um, this is gonna be for my bread. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there, right? And for here, whew, let's see, we may not have enough, we'll see. Oh man, we need um, okay, for my hamburger bun, we may be short, we'll see you guys. Maybe, maybe we're gonna be fine. Let's see, hold on. Cause I need for my hot dogs, huh? No, actually I think we're gonna be fine. I think we're gonna be fine. I'm gonna make another, I just make the ball. Right, so I can have a ball. And you're gonna squeeze it. Cause I don't want it to puff like this. I want it like this, right? Cause it's gonna be for my hamburger. So. Okay, so, and these are gonna grow, so no worries. Okay, 
And then, here I'm for my two huck dogs, right? Okay. I think that your hands are your best scale, right? Doo -doo -doo. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. Gonna make a, I like to pinch it like that, right? Make a ball. And then I'm just gonna go this way. They may not be the best uh, looking bread, but they're gonna be so good. And that's what matters. Okay. And remember that we don't want it that big because they're gonna grow. I'm gonna grab a sausage and, yep, okay. Just kind of have the same size. And I'm gonna put it very close to my edge because I want I don't want it to spread like that. When you, you um when you do a lot of breads, you have to put them close together so they can puff and beautiful. But because I'm not doing that today, because I'm only making these two, we'll see. But it's gonna be delicious, guys. This is the way that I, the way I like to make my balls. I put it here, and with my other hand, I just go like this. And if you notice, you notice you know it will go like that right so i close my fingers so i can help out and make the ball with these emotions right so okay and here you go a tip uh every time i do bread i do two things if i have a little over time i like to put it inside my oven and turn the light on now if you don't have a light or you want it quicker i like to turn on my oven just for like five minutes, 150. Like I turn it on at 350, three minutes, five minutes, turn it off the okay. oven and then I put my bread there. So I have my two hot dogs so the oven can be warm enough to help my dough to rise. So there you have it. Okay, my two hot dogs and my two hamburgers and I'm going to let it rest and my bread. So let's continue all this rice. And you know what? Let's do another we're here because we're gonna need flour tortillas. But of course, I'm only gonna do half of the recipe as well. So I only need a cup of flour. A cup of flour, salt, and oil. I don't have a shortening, so we're gonna use oil and it's gonna be just great. Um, Okay, <clears throat> the water is very hot, so you really need to be very careful. Um, so I always use something to mix it up and then I, I'll use my hands. But before, before, I mean, I mix it up with this so I don't burn myself. <laughs> and you have to use your hands to see if it needs more water. So now I'm gonna use my hands and just kind of see which I think that's uh, yeah I think it's fine Something that I like to do, I have a film or plastic for kitchen, right? And just cover it and we're gonna let it rest, okay? For at least 20 minutes, so it's good. Okay, let's do our first breakfast. So I'm gonna do huevo con chorizo. My chorizo, where is here? I'm just gonna use some of it.
I'm going to add my eggs. Some salt. Okay, my huevo con chorizo is ready. Okay, next breakfast. I'm gonna turn it on. I add a little bit of oil. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add chorizo. I'm still using this one. Remember that I bought two packages, right? Okay. Going to add another chunk. Okay, I'm going to add now. Um, I'm going to add a little more cherry, so hold on. Say one a little more. Okay, I'm going to add some salsa. Remember that we still have a little bit from last week? I'm adding salsa. And I'm adding beans. This is, oh, my mom makes this breakfast and we love it and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna serve it so and this can be your lunch breakfast dinner whatever but for me it's gonna be my um, my breakfast okay just let it warm up okay this is done so I'm going to remove from here and I'm going to add the other one I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Okay. I'm gonna make an egg. Salt. Okay, <clears throat> I have my plate. I'm gonna put it here. Okay. Okay, once you have your egg here, to just add this deliciousness on top. And you have a very, very delicious breakfast. Let's continue. Okay guys, we still have quite a bit of flour. Um, hold on. Look, we still have, here, we still have. So let's make our flour tortillas. They already um, rest for a little bit, so. Okay. So we have quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna make my, my tortillas, okay. Okay. Okay, those cuatro, seis. So we did eight flour tortillas with one cup. Okay, one cup of flour. Guys, honestly, it's so cheap to do. It takes a little time, but it's totally worth it, right? So I'm not gonna go in details, like you're not gonna see me making all the tortillas just because you can go and watch um, my video. I'm gonna post it on the description below or here on top. You're gonna see it. So, and they're gonna be different sizes. It's all good, right? Who cares? The important thing is that we get a tortilla. So, this is big, this is not much, it's fine. Okay. Ah, let's do it. Okay hey guys, I, hold on, I want to show you, okay, so my bread, they're ready, I grab one egg only, and I'm going to use this, but I'm going to use it just to kind of give some color to my, 
to my bread, okay? And this is the time that you can put some sesame seeds if you have some so they can stick it to your bread, okay? I'm only gonna do it to Did you see how much they grow? Okay. Perfect. I'm gonna put it in the oven for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. This one will go for around 30 minutes, but this one we're gonna for 18 minutes, okay? So, I'm gonna put this one first and then my bread. Look at this beautiful. You see, we don't need baking powder. They just need rest, time to rest. That's all they need, nothing else. So let's continue making our tortillas. Okay guys, in my pan, I'm going to add eggs. I'm gonna add the egg that I used for the um, and another one. Ah! Man, hold on. Okay. A little bit of salt. I'm gonna make my some scramble eggs. And I'm going to add beans, okay? So as soon as they're almost done, I'm adding my beans. So, okay, gonna add a little bit of pepper, mix them up, and we have cheese, we have um, salsa, you know, it's gonna be delicious, perfect, look at this, oh my gosh, okay. I'm going to add, because I'm making this for two days, so I'm going to add another egg. I just remember that I want it for two days, which is fine. Just, okay. Okay, and breakfast is ready. Look at this beauty, guys. Look at this beauty. Mm -hmm. Like they're so flexible, right, right? So, I'm gonna put it on my And this will depends how many burritos do you want, right? Um, you will decide I'm gonna make three, but hey. And these, I'm gonna have it for two days, okay? So, I have some salsa, and breakfast is ready, guys. And we'll still have five tortillas left, okay? Now, now, to Keep these the best way. Let them, uh, you're just gonna let them be cold. Once they're cool, you're gonna put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in your pantry. Do not put it inside the fridge because they're gonna get very hard, but they have to be cold. So once you're done, just put it like this, right? And once they're cold, grab them again, put them inside a Ziploc bag, close it, and you have good tortillas for the week, okay? Let's continue. Day one, we had our eggs sunny side up with our beans, chorizo, and salsa. Day two, we have chorizo with scrambled eggs. Day three, we have burritos with scrambled eggs and um, beans. <laughs> Day four, we again had a scrambled uh, sunny side up egg with beans, salsa, and chorizo. Day five, we, eat, we ate um, chorizo with scrambled eggs. In day six, we ate burritos with scrambled eggs and beans, and of course, salsa. And here you have 
all of our breakfast for this week really really good now let me show you what we have for lunch and look at this guys my breads are ready i already cut this too but i want you to see they're very soft guys like really really soft this is very hot still so i'm gonna leave it there for a little bit it is very important that once your breads get out of the oven put it in a rack so they can breathe if you leave them in the cookie sheet they're gonna start getting like on the bottom it's gonna be like wet because all the sweat or yeah the sweat it's coming down so you don't want that so right away put it here so i'm gonna give them a little time for this to be a little more um cold okay guys let's make our hot dogs okay so very careful we're gonna open the bread okay okay so for this purpose i already have at my house mayo and ketchup so i'm not going to open what i bought just because i don't need to but i bought them for the purpose of the video okay so here they are i bought them but i'm gonna use what i have at home already so i don't have to open a second one oh this is really good really really good okay and i'm just gonna put if you like mayo or not well that's your choice. my hot dog and i didn't have money for mustard but hey it's all good right it's all good I need to open a little more. There we go. Put some mayo. My hot dog sauce, sausage, sausage. Yes, right. Okay. And my lunch day one. It's ready. What do you guys think? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Let me show you our next lunch. Okay, I'm doing my lentils and I'm gonna do the same thing. I have my water boiling. Once my water is boiling, um, I'm going to add a little bit of salt to give it a little taste. And I'm going to add all the rest of my lentils. And I'm going to give them seven to 10 minutes. I'm gonna try them and if they're cooked, then I'm gonna turn it off. I do this because I don't like my lentils smooshy. Okay, so for lunch, like I'm gonna have sandwiches and my ha my cheese and my ham. I'm going to slice my bread. Never throw this away. I'm going to toast them because I'm gonna use it for my hamburger. So just wait. And I'm gonna cut my bread. And I know this bread is way too small. Um, you can use the entire recipe so you can get bigger slices like you know tall but this is gonna be just perfect because then you can make small sandwiches which are fine and I'm gonna show you the bread hold on guys it's so fluffy it is really really good like really good now let me tell you i like to slice it and then i'm gonna let it cold be cool cold completely um and what i like to do is to put it in a ziploc bag and put it on my freezer because this is a homemade bread um it's gonna by two days it's gonna start getting hard and it's not gonna taste fresh and good so that's what i do i put it in the freezer and then once I want the bread, I put it on my toaster and that's it. So the ends, I'm going to save them and I'm going to continue to prepare some sandwiches. Let me open my cheese. Okay. Let's open my ham. Okay. And like I mentioned before, I'm going to use the one that I have from home, but I, you know, we bought one, so we're good, right? And okay. simple as you're going to grab one. I hope you can see it, right? And because it's a small bread, 
I'm gonna make two sandwiches, okay? Ah. This is a really, really, really good bread. Honestly, if you're interested in getting this book, I'm going to leave a link on the description below. I'm pretty sure I can get one so I can give it to you in case you're interested. But honestly, they have amazing recipes. Uh, this is our favorite recipe. Okay, I'm gonna slice some cheese. And now, I'm gonna put slice of ham, cheese, ham, okay, right, yes, and lunch is ready. Okay, um, boiling water. I'm going to put some salt and remember my pasta. I'm just going to do some pasta. I don't want it all, but just a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I think that works only a little bit and I'm going to cook it for six minutes. Okay. We're going to do our lentils. Um, let me put this one this side. Ah, it was too hot. Oh, well, I'm going to add my chorizo here the rest of the chorizo and I'm going to open the other one I think I'm gonna say but I may need the other one as well sorry I'm going no. to add more uh, so I open my second chorizo just because I want more flavor and let's cook it Okay, my chorizo is done. I'm going to add, <laughs> I have not much left for my salsa, but I'm gonna add it. You can, I'm gonna add it all, because this was really nothing. And I'm going to add all my lentils. Check for flavor, salt, pepper, and that's it. Oh my gosh. This is ready for my tacos. You know what, guys? Because I still have plenty of cheese, I'm gonna add some shredded cheese on top of my lentils. What the heck? This is gonna be so, so good. I'm just gonna turn it off. Mix it up. I'm gonna put a little more on top. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. What the heck? Okay. I'm gonna add a little more on top. Okay, so our next recipe, I cooked my pasta, remember? So here's my pasta. I'm adding my can of corn. I'm adding my can of tuna. And I'm going to add some mayo. Let's add some mayo. I think that will do it. And I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to add some pepper and some salt. Yum, yum. Wow, this gave us a lot. And this is a very quick, like seven minutes dinner just because five minutes you cook the pasta. So dinner is ready. We're gonna have plenty of uh, tuna pasta for easy three days easy look at this and we still have plenty okay day one we ate we're gonna eat we're gonna eat our hot dogs day two we're eating our delicious sandwiches with our homemade bread 
Day three, we're eating our tuna pasta salad. Day four, we're eating again two small sandwiches. Hold my bread. Day five, we are going to eat again tuna salad. Day six, oh, I have plenty of this delicious soup, so I ate one plate of my pasta meatballs. Okay, my next recipe, I'm gonna make a soup. I've never done it with this. I always use ground beef, but the ground beef was very expensive. So, I'm going to start doing my soup. I'm going to blend all this can for the flavor, okay? okay I'm start. going to open the can so I can blend it. Kids are already back from home, guys, so you're, less, you're here them here in the kitchen with me. So, let's blend this very quick. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay. okay, let's blend it. Okay, I have a little bit of oil. Let me see if you can see it. Um, a little bit of oil and I'm going to add the rest of my pasta. And I'm just going to cook it here for a little bit. Okay, my soup or the pasta is ready. I'm going to add what I blended, my tomatoes. And I'm going to add some water as well. Okay, now I'm going to do meatballs. But with the sausage, I'm not adding anything. I'm just not doing anything. I'm just going to add small bowls here. So let me show you how I'm going to do it. Okay, I opened the package and I'm just going to grab a little bit and do a small meatball and throw it there. Okay, I put around 12 meatballs. I can't remember to be honest, but it was, it was pretty good amount. Um, so... I'm going to add some garlic powder from the first week that we bought it, remember? Even though it has a little bit of flavor because it has oregano and other spices on the tomatoes, I'm just going to add more, okay? So, I'm going to let it cook and I'll show it to you in a minute. Let's check the soup. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna check the flavor to see if I need to add a little something else or we're good to go. At this point, I'm going to add a little bit of oregano because I want full more flavor. Rub it up. Okay. And my soup is ready. Oh my gosh. Look at this. So good. Okay, let's make the broccoli hamburgers. Here's my broccoli, my two slices of bread that I'm gonna toast, cheese, ham, one egg, garlic powder, oregano from last week, salt and pepper. This is what I'm gonna need to make my broccoli burgers. Let me show you how. Okay guys, I broke in pieces my broccoli and wash it and everything. I have a double broiler. I'm going to cook them um, with steam, so. Let's go. Okay, so this is already ready for me. I'm going to add my broccoli. Right. And I'm gonna leave them here for only like six, seven minutes. Okay, guys, my broccoli, whoo, it's done. Very carefully, I'm gonna put it on my, here so I can cut it in pieces. Very careful. Okay. And let's start cutting it in little pieces, okay? I cook it for seven minutes. Um, you can do it from five to seven, will be fine. Ready? I have here, I put a little bit of onion, just a little bit, and I'm gonna put it here. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to put my spices, which are garlic powder. A little bit of oregano. Not much, that's like a pinch of it only. A little bit goes a lot, like long way. Salt. Pepper. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add, yeah, it's fine. My egg, I didn't want to be that hot, but it's not anymore. So my egg, and I froze my bread so I can um, shred it easier. And so that's what I'm gonna do. You can toast it as well. And this is not well frozen, but I need to use it, so. I finish clean hands and I'm just gonna mix it up and if you I feel that I need a little more so you know what I'm just gonna add flour but you can add we have more bread to use and we have flour so I'm just gonna use flour because we will still have plenty um, I'm gonna add like two tablespoons Oh yeah, okay. Just needed a little bit more. So I think my family really enjoyed these uh, broccoli hamburgers, believe me. A little bit more. Okay, yeah. Okay, here we go now. Okay, so let me, let's make the patties and I'm gonna cook them in the um, stove. Let's go. Okay, I put a little bit of oil. Sorry, I made my patty. And we're gonna do one by one because I only have this small pan. Once here, you can kind of push it to make it a little bigger, okay? Because this is not gonna shrink. Okay, let's see if this is ready. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to add my cheese. A lentil. Um, and I'm going to add my ham. I'm going to flip it very quick because I want my cheese melted. Okay, that's it and I'm taking it out okay and I'm going to continue doing my other uh, hamburgers okay guys I got four patties uh, with cheese and ham here's my hamburger bun let me something flat hold on okay Look at that, it's perfection, perfection. Um, gonna add mayo. Guys, I totally forgot about the lettuce, but you know what, it's okay. No big deal, this hamburger is gonna taste. If you like broccoli, you're gonna love this hamburger. You put your hamburger. You put some ketchup. And you have a very amazing now hamburger. I'm gonna share my dinners for day one. We have a broccoli hamburger. If you love broccoli, you're gonna love this hamburger. Day two, we're going to eat our pasta with meatballs. Okay, so these, I'm gonna eat it for two days. I have it for two meals. And because I have 
plenty of flour like plenty i have two cups at least i'm gonna make more flour tortillas so i can make more taquitos or burritos with my lentil chorizo and salsa cheese that is to die for then next day i'm eating again another hamburger because they're so good and my last day again my pasta soup guys i'm gonna try a few ones but honestly if you like broccoli you're gonna love this hamburger it's really really good mm. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. we love it mm. Mm -hmm. believe me when i say that it is really good it is really good we love this it's really really good oh my gosh this is my lentils with chorizo salsa cheese mm. five stars this was one of my, my family favorites today that we were eating um so so good believe me when i say that there are they're full of flavor believe me and i got two meals out of it so good mm -hmm. i hope you enjoyed this video give them stuff if you do share please help me out sharing it in your facebook your instagram so everybody can come and see it because i think we're saving a lot of money right and now even though we still have um a lot of leftover let me show you and this is what we have left one more plate of pasta another plate of this pasta with meatballs i have four of this one so it was really really good i got three of this ones then look at this i have a lot of chorizo left a lot of sausage left two two patties for broccoli hamburgers two eggs two cups of flour still quite a bit of flour <clears throat> five slices of bread and one, two, three slices of ham. What? So guys, this is possible. And we're eating really, really good. So for next week, we're going to continue using this, right? Don't forget. We're going to continue using this what we have um, for making more meals. This is going to help us a lot because we already have one dinner. Three dinners right here. Or even do you want to use this one? You already have four dinners for next week. What the heck? And that's really good. Please. Applause. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give thumbs up. Don't forget. This is what we have left. All the meals are so, so good. We'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And if you could help me, if you want to help me, Please go to my other videos and watch them and share them in your social media. I will really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Bye.